Hello guys, this is Smitha. Today I'm going to be talking about five really cool computer vision applications that can be implemented using deep learning. So let's get started. Before we get into it, let's understand what computer vision actually is. Computer vision is a part of computer science which is focused on enabling computers to basically see and process images just like we do. So when we see a picture of a cute cat, we know it's a picture of a cute cat, but this task is extremely hard for a computer because while we see a picture of a cat, a computer actually just sees an array of integers. So how do we make computers see like us? One way is to use deep learning. Deep learning is a machine learning technique which allows computers to do what comes naturally to us learning by example. Deep learning is a key technology behind self-driving cars. It enables them to recognize lampposts and to tell the difference between pedestrians and stop signs. And it is used in so many other ways. In deep learning, a computer model is trained using a large set of labeled data and neural network architecture that contains many layers. The term deep refers to the number of layers in a neural network. A traditional neural network has about two to three layers, but a deep learning neural network has over 150 and can have as many as thousands. This is the reason why deep learning neural networks can achieve such a high level of accuracy and can even beat humans at recognizing things. I'll go, I'll dwell deeper into deep learning later on in another video. But for now, let's move on to the five applications on computer vision. So the first really cool application is image classification. Image classification is a process of identifying objects in images. Although it's really easy for us humans, it is an extremely difficult task for computers. But with deep learning, computers are able to do that. Some really cool uses of image classification is actually in security like identifying faces in CCTV footage and even in real time at airports. Another popular example of the use of image classification is in self-driving cars because without uh, image classification, self-driving cars would not be possible. Image classification allows self-driving cars to identify where the road is and what all the obstacles are. So it's such a huge part of self-driving cars. Another example of image classification is in the healthcare industry and how uh, you can, you're able to identify tumors in scans of endoscopies and biopsies. The second application of computer vision that I'm going to be talking about is image colorization. Image colorization does exactly what it says. It basically adds color to black and white images. However, achieving the real color of a black and white image is extremely difficult. When we have a grayscale image, we essentially only have one kind of information about that image, and that is its intensity. So how do we determine the color of each of those pixels in that image? Turns out, each of the pixel in a black and white image has 313 different color possibilities to choose from. So essentially, this is the biggest problem that image colorization is trying to solve. So image colorization is used to, to color black and white images, especially old black and white images. Next up is 3D reconstruction. For us humans, understanding how an object looks like in 3D when we're just looking at it in 2D is pretty easy. However, this is an extremely difficult task for computers because it's hard for them to look at a 2D image and derive how it would look like in 3D. There are several ways in which 3D reconstruction can be carried out. One of the most popular ways is to take several photographs of a singular object at different angles and mesh them together to get a 3D image. Next up is image synthesis. Image synthesis is an extremely broad genre. Essentially, image synthesis uses neural networks to generate images which are similar to existing images in our dataset, but not exactly the same. In 2017, by making use of image synthesis, researchers managed to generate photographs of human faces which look super realistic by using photos of celebrities. 
In 2016, another paper release showed how images could be generated from textual descriptions. The project used extremely detailed descriptions to generate images of birds and flowers. Another popular example of image synthesis in the mainstream media is the Face app. I'm sure many of you have tried it by now. The Face app uses image synthesis to generate hyper-realistic images of us when we are old. The last computer vision application that I'm going to be talking about is image style transfer. Image style transfer is essentially taking two images and blending them together to produce one. It is used in so many ways, especially in computer graphics and media and many, many more. Style transfer is a technique which uses two images. The first one is the content image and the second one is the style reference image. It takes these two images and blends them together so that the output image looks like the content image but painted in the style of the reference image. That's all for today's video. Hope you guys found it interesting and hope you guys learned something about computer vision. Please like and subscribe and comment down below on what you guys thought about this video. Thanks and see you next time.